Yeah, Jackie, we just got to the scene here in Mayfair. We are at the intersection of Roland Avenue and Guilford Street in Mayfair, where those four people were shot. We understand that uh, three people were killed. Two people were killed on scene. One died in the hospital. The other is in the hospital in critical condition right now. We're still waiting for more information from police about the situation that happened at hand here uh, around 10 o'clock this evening here in the Mayfair section. We don't know any information about the shooter at this point or the circumstances behind the shooting, but back out here live, this comes on the same day. Philadelphia police added more police officers to high areas, areas that have um, hot spots uh, known for gun violence in the city, and they put those officers on the street to try to curb gun violence from this from happening. On Monday, Philadelphia police launched at least 60 additional officers to patrol neighborhoods seeing the highest amount of gun violence in the city. We not only expect visibility, but we want people out of their cars. We want people out and engaging. That was Commissioner Daniel Outlaw back in December outlining the new plan. Police say those officers will target the 22nd, 24th, 25th, and 39th police districts, spanning from areas around Germantown through North Philly and over to areas around Kensington. Philadelphia police say those areas alone account for 43% of Philadelphia's gun violence last year. That's nearly half of the 472 people who were shot and killed in 2022. Police hope adding more boots on the ground will help reduce some of the highest homicide rates in Philadelphia history. Those that come into our community have to have that, that mindset of being a part of the community. Leroy Muhammad is with several organizations in Philadelphia fighting the city's gun violence crisis. He believes the additional officers need to be a part of the community, not just patrol it. Those that are coming into the community have the compassion, understanding of the community and how to move, maneuver within the community. We're all for it. We welcome that. So when I talked to police earlier, they told me that the strategic, uh, the strategy to this is very fluid. So they'll follow the data where they'll find problematic areas is where they could move police. Now, again, we are in the Mayfair section of Philadelphia. This is not one of the areas that police uh, had the additional patrol officers, those 60 additional patrol officers uh, in the area of Philadelphia. But, you know, if they do follow the data, they could eventually move uh, patrol officers to this area. But again, we do not know any information about a shooter at this point, a motive behind a shooting. We're still waiting for police. We're expecting them to give us some type of update about this uh, mass shooting. Four people shot here in Mayfair. Three people died, one person in critical condition. That is the latest from Mayfair. Johnny Archer, NBC 10 News.